I'm Bill Lobmandroth. I'm a wood turner from Highland, Illinois. The sort of thing I do is called segmenting, where you take flat boards, build them up into a bowl shape, and then turn that into a lathe. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a retired engineer, so this is, this is fun for me. In this case, it's just a flat board. It's just one by uh, hard maple. So you start with a solid block, start making uh, rings, which is what these are. Each layer is what I call a ring. So you glue that together, turn, glue, turn, glue, turn. And then eventually you would end up, this is a different shape, but you would end up with uh, something that looks like this. So this has got, uh, this layer needs to be turned and then it has a little top piece on it yet that would be a contrasting color. So as you, as you go, it starts to take shape and you've got a little flexibility on, uh, on changing the shape, but not a, not a whole lot, unless you want to waste a whole lot of wood. It's probably got two more days to go. Uh, we'll start doing a finish on it, and that usually takes about two or three days also. So this will be what we call a feature ring. It's just uh, many, many little pieces glued together. It's not easy, it's not hard to do. The uh, easy part, or the hard part, is to do it safely. <laughs> so yeah, the day's goal is to enter the shop and leave the shop with the same number of fingers. And I'll take several of these, glue those into a ring, and you'll end up with, with a feature ring like this. This is my first time being in the Clayton Art Fair. You know, it's a great venue, uh, you know, anything you want, great art, great food, great location. Uh, all the people I worked with are really top notch. Uh, and you know, they're, they're so good and they make it look easy. And that's, that's not easy to do, especially something of that size. So it's exciting, you know, it's essentially my backyard. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So Bill Abendroth joins us here now. Uh, that was some pretty cool stuff. We appreciate you letting us come see how you do your work. I'm curious, tell us more about how you went from, you said engineer. Yes. And then now artist, do you call yourself an artist, Bill? Oh, I don't know, that's a big debate, whether, you're, uh, whether you make craft or art. And I think the definitive answer is I just make stuff, so. Tell me about your transition, though, from engineer to Craft, craftsman or artist? <laughs> craftsman or artist. I know, I've always been a woodworker and I started out what we call flat woodworking. So I made tables and just, you know, furniture and stuff around the house. And the lathe always kind of intrigued me. You got that third dimension and the, the flowing lines. So uh, I brought a lathe, I don't know, a number of years ago and I kind of drifted in and drifted out, but I always came back to it. And I guess about the last five or six years, I really got more, more into it. When did you set your sights on putting your work in, a, in an event like this? Well, when your house fills up and all your friends have your stuff, you gotta do, <laughs> you gotta do something with it. So, <laughs> here I am. Was it easy to get into the, to the no, St. Louis Hardware? This is a tough show. It's, I mean, this is one of the top rated shows in the country. It really is. What does it take to get in? Um, consistency and a little talent and something just a little bit different, I think. So they are looking there is a, as I understand it, it would be called a jury. There's someone is looking not just at, uh, well, you tell me, is it the quality of your work, the, how, how prolific uh, your work, how, the work you've done? What, what's the, what are the qualifications? I think something that just tickles your fancy. But the, yeah, the judging process is very involved. As I recall, there were 1,400 applicants, and it took three full long days to, to get down to the number of artists they have here. Have you ever put your stuff in a museum? Have you ever had a gallery showing? Is this the venue uh, or, or shows like this? Is this the way you get the public gets to kind of interact with, with you uh, and with your work? Yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of still kind of new to the, uh, to the art show, Mark. I've done a few shows. Um, this is the biggest one I've done. Uh, it, it, I'm not doing this for a living. This is a hobby. So I don't want to work too hard. I am retired. So, so maybe does that give you a certain freedom that uh, some of the other artists might not have or a certain uh, relaxation that you're able to enjoy this with? I think so. I think if you're making things for somebody else to sell, I think you lose some creativity. If you're making stuff that you like and maybe it just amuses you, I think, yeah, think that creative flow really comes out. Those creative juices really flow. 
And have you done other shows? Yes, I've done several uh, smaller shows in Southern Illinois. So how does this compare uh, to places you've been on the road to, oh, to show your stuff? This is really top notch. This is a well put together show. Uh, you know, it's, it's so well put together, it looks easy. And I think we both know it's not. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is fantastic. Great venue, uh, great great collection of art, wide variety, and the uh, all the staff that I've met here, they're just excellent. You're a local guy, but not everybody is. Uh, a, a lot of people aren't. I understand there's somebody here from Czechoslovakia this year, but yeah, if you uh, go around and read the signs, they're from all over the country. It's a big show. It's a big deal. Do you chat with them? Do you chat with folks who are traveling in from other places? You know, I've been so busy today and haven't had time, but hopefully, uh, hopefully over the weekend we will. I was just wondering if you heard any feedback from them on what their perspective is. We're going to talk to some ourselves, but I was curious what you're hearing. Well, I think what I can tell you is I think they had 1,400 applications to get into the show, so you can probably draw your own conclusions from that. Uh, have you been able to walk around this year and, and check out any of the other booths? I've only made it down to one street, so. <laughs> do you enjoy it? Do you like? I really do. Yeah. Tell, tell me uh, what you what you like to see, or maybe what you have seen so far that's in, that's caught your eye. You know, I take bits and pieces from everything. Uh, a lot of people go to like a trade show and they and they'll say, "Oh, I'm going to make that." I come away with a bit here and a piece there and a half of an idea there, uh, and then put them together. And, you know, speak your own language. So, are you and, and, and just you as a craftsman or artist, although I think we've decided you're an artist. Um, are you still evolving? Are you still changing yourself? And what has this kind of been like, this having having had the engineering as a career and now this whole second act, it almost, it seems like? I think if you're not growing and evolving, at least in my part, I get bored. So yeah, I, I have to keep growing and changing just to amuse myself, if nothing else. What's next for you? What's next for your work? I'm not sure. I think I'll get some fresh ideas this weekend, though. So ask me next week. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, well, uh, anything else? Have, let me ask uh, one other question about in terms of uh, local fairs. You, do you participate in uh, over in Belleville? I have not. I plan to next year, though. But I guess it's kind of cool that we have. Those are both. That's a very nice show. Very nice show in Belleville. Very nice show here. It's quite the scene that we've got here within just a, a few miles of each other. Yeah, it really is. Uh, they're both very, very highly rated shows uh, throughout the country. So yeah, it's it's very impressive if you think about it. Did you ever think you would end up showing your wares at an art fair when you were still an engineer? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> never, never crossed my mind. <laughs> so that's what makes life interesting though.